I was thinking about my dress. Um, I talked with Joseph Alteruza, who is a wonderful. Oops. Did young she say designer, his name wrong? You know. That's okay. It's Hillary. I think she uh, she gets a pass. <laughs> the dress concept is definitely interesting with the embroidery written on it. Yeah, look at Alicia's dress. Yeah, all right. The whole like skyline on the on the whole like train mini train back skirt part. I like I like that she's just like repping New York. That's pretty cool. Yeah, everybody's like really going all out with the golden glamour, which is cool to see. It's nice to see everybody like just getting into the theme and like going for it. Oh, it's Lin Manuel Miranda. He's my neighbor. I see him walking around sometimes. His wife looks amazing. I forgot that he was a co-chair this year, too. Billie Eilish, okay. Going crazy with the cleavage. Really in the role of whatever she's wearing. Yo, Winnie's headpiece? That thing's awesome. Obsessed with that, that like, headpiece thing. That's amazing. I like her headpiece, and she's complimenting Lala's headpiece, which is also nice, but... I like Winnie's headpiece way better. That's so cool. Well, this is Gucci, and it is all um, existing materials. So we didn't, you know, have to waste a bunch of stuff. This is all already existed, and um, just wanted to, like, be kind of as, I don't know, eco-friendly as possible. Okay, so, yeah, so for even for Billie Eilish, like, and I've heard of some other people mention, like, sustainability and using fabrics that already exist, not using new fabrics for their dresses. Seems like that's definitely sort of like a theme for the Met that people are trying to use um, not new, um, not use new materials basically to be more sustainable and have a more sustainable dress for the Met Gala. Christine Baranski is 70? Okay. Work it. <laughs> Diana Taylor is crazy. Her headpiece is fire too. And I think it's the same designer as Winnie's is Winnie's headpiece, so that kind of makes sense that they, I, I like both of their headpieces. Sierra looks amazing. I love her. She is awesome. I love that she went with something that's sort of like form-fitting because she's just like, her body's just amazing anyway. So the fact that she just went with form-fitting is just like always looks, looks good on her anyway. So yeah, Kris Jenner looks really nice. I actually really like her look. Her hair is giving me like 60s vibes. But she just looks really nice. I don't know if it's, like, theme accurate, gilded glamour. I mean, I guess you can interpret it however you want. But she just she just looks really nice, I think, either way. So, so, so many people are wearing that pink color, like, that Sizz is wearing. There, there's, like, this, like, ma saturated magenta pink. And, like, full on, too. Like, full, like, head to toe. Like, there's that blonde girl. And I don't know her name. Then there's that other lady. I don't know her name. And then there's that one guy. I also don't know who that guy is. But they're all wearing like full on saturated pink. This saturated pink color. I don't know why. I never would have thought I'd see that at a theme that was like gilded glamour. It doesn't really. Um, it's not something that I would have thought. But it's interesting that like this color is really sticking out. And that quite a few people, different people are wearing it. It's kind of interesting. Oh, there you go. There's, there's that blonde lady with the pink color on. I guess that's Brooklyn Beckham's wife, girlfriend. Okay, I didn't know who I didn't know who she was. Now, now I know because they were sort of introduced. I still oh Nicola Peltz Beckham. Okay, but she's wearing that pink color too. Brooklyn Beckham's suit is fire. Like that color, that cream color. It does look really nice. The fabric looks really nice. Just when he was kind of moving the collar around, that looks like a really nice fabric, and it's. It's a nice cut. It looks really good. His suit is really good. No, oh, look who it is. Kourtney Kardashian. I don't know about that outfit. I'm not feeling it. At least from the view that I'm seeing it at now. There's Sierra again. Sierra looks fire. I like Sierra. Even, even though she kind of looks like a zebra, I still like Sierra. It's just amazing anyway. Just everything flatters her body. And the long hair is super pretty. And the thigh, the, the whole the thigh that she's got going on, like the... Exposed thigh reminds me of like her music video with Ludacris with that song Ride. I think it's the song Ride where she just has she has like these legs for days and she's like so in shape. Her legs look amazing. Her legs look amazing here. Just they look like they looked amazing in that music video with Ludacris. There's Courtney again. That skirt makes her hips look really wide. 
She kind of looks really short and wide. I'm not, I'm not sure about this outfit, really. It's interesting. It's just not really flattering. And I don't know if it's gilded glamour either. I'm not seeing much glamour or guild. Oh, there's another lady with the pink, with the saturated pink magenta or whatever on. And the dark hair. I don't, again, I don't know who she is either. Maybe they'll introduce her later and we'll find out who she is. But a lot of people have on this, like, bright pink color that I never, but then obviously there's a lot of black and white, especially with the men with the suits. And then there is a lot of, like, gold, like that glamour, right? The guild and the glamour, like, silver, gold. Is that Cardi? Is that Cardi B in the full gold? So yeah, there's a lot of like sparkle and metallic colors too, but I think these people in the, this people in this really specific pink are really standing out because it's not a color I would have thought for gilded glamour. Backwards baseball cap with a veil? Is that what that is? It looks like a backward baseball cap with a veil. Okay, so now that I understand what Courtney's wearing a little bit more, that it's like the deconstructed version of of the man's white tie i guess i actually like i like it a little bit i still don't think it's very flattering but i like the concept that it's she didn't go with the gilded glamour like like the women would she's going more with like uh the men's the men's white tie version in a, in a female deconstructed version which is kind of cool it's kind of interesting and it's very different from what most of the other women would be wearing which is like sparkly silver gold and all that kind of stuff oh here's kendall Kendall looks smoking hot because she is a supermodel. <laughs> she looks amazing. Um, so a lot of black. Oh, I see. So she did all black. Kylie did all white. That's interesting. Oh, there's Donatella Versace. So that legit is a backward baseball cap, right? That Kylie's wearing, right? <laughs> I keep, yeah, like that's, it is. It has like a, what is this called? The bill, but on the back. Okay. At first I wasn't sure. I was like, the U, the, the upside down U looks like... A, it's the back of a baseball cap, but no, it really is. So here's like Cardi and Donatella. They look amazing. A lot of gold, a lot of glamour, more glamour, less guild, <laughs> I guess. I like Cardi's definition of what the theme is. Gilded is gold. That's it. That's all you need to know. <laughs> and, I like, and that's what she went with. And it looks really, I mean, it looks good on her, the all gold. Oh, Donatella said it's, uh, it's heavy, the dress that Cardi's wearing. That's interesting to know. And it, I mean, I could see, I could see why it's heavy. It looks like it's probably, now that she says, that, I didn't really think about it, but now that she said that, it looks like it could be heavy. It's a workout, probably. <laughs> okay, almost one kilometer of like chains, like silver and chains or whatever. Okay, that sounds, that must be really heavy. Like, wow. I do have to say Cardi and Donatella, they like, they look really good together. They look like a nice pair. Like they look like they could be BFFs. <laughs> Oh, now we got Chloe, Chloe Kardashian. She looks good too, all gold, dripping gold. That's really pretty. I like the hair. I like the, like the blunt, graduated bob. She looks gorgeous. Okay, so like all the Kardashians are there except for Kim. So we're just kind of waiting for Kim, right? And other random people that are showing up. I'm not going to lie. I'm waiting for Kim. <laughs> this is what it is. I mean, it's like, what is she going to be wearing, right? Is she coming with Pete? She's probably coming with Pete, right? Like... I want to see it. I'm like, I'm kind of like waiting for that. But obviously, it's good. It's good to be distracted by all these other like gorgeously dressed people while I'm waiting for Kim. But also, it's like, why didn't she come with all of her other sisters? Like all of her other sisters showed up. Her mom's there. Kim has to make an entrance, I guess. Right. Right. OK, yeah, I was wondering who that was. That's Gwen Stefani. I was like, why does she look so familiar? And her dress is like super neon noticeable but i was like i don't know who that is and okay it's gwen okay i don't know why that was not so obvious and whoa have you seen cara delavine is that how you say her last name like whoa she basically doesn't have a shirt on she just went with her skin being gilded glamour um rather than a, than a dress or anything like that that is quite a um a wow a wow factor outfit uh it's like a suit without a without a shirt, but with pasties, gold pasties and paint, gold paint on your skin. It's intense. That's intense. It's hard to forget. And also, I feel like I've been like staring at Vanessa Hudgens all night because she's been doing like the hosting and talking to all the guests. But I do just want to say like, wow, like her outfit also like, whoa, super racy, super sexy, showing a lot of skin while showing no skin, right? Because the fabric is like see through. It's pretty, it's pretty intense, like revealing a lot while having all her skin covered. Like it's kind of a cool contrast. That is a risky, that is a risky outfit, but it looks really good on her. That one picture with like the, all the fabric like flying up looks like amazing and super dramatic. 
she's like working the show but she's like working the show like both ways yeah she looks amazing while she's also like like talking and interviewing like all these people it's pretty crazy she looks fire i also like her hair her hair has like this cool it's like this high tight bun it has all this cool like silver stuff in it or whatever silver silver string silver wire or something looks amazing but yeah vanessa like went for it i guess if you're hosting too if you're hosting you just like go all out this is like you're there to do your job so you're gonna go all out oh wow, i like did not even recognize Nicki minaj i was like who is that is that like china or somebody i'm like what <laughs> who is that well it's Nicki. i didn't even i did not even recognize Nicki. I like her uh, her hat with the headband uh, combo hybrid thing. Wait, does she like actually play the flute or is that like a prop? Just for pictures? What's going on? I don't know what's happening. A prop. I think it's a prop. Okay, so maybe she does kind of play the flute. It looks like she's like playing it a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't know. Maybe she like sort of slightly plays the flute. Kim has arrived. Great to see. She looks bomb. I like totally didn't even recognize her at first. A lot of these people I'm just like not recognizing because maybe because they're so dressed up or whatever. Kim looks amazing. Kim looks really great. She looks really glamorous and very, um, but in a, in a kind of a mature way that I haven't seen before, but very Marilyn Monroe with like the sort of like torpedo boob vibe going on. Um, I like the blonde hair. She looks really nice. It's interesting also to see her and Pete out. Um, but yeah, she looks good. I like the white, the white fur coat thing. She's glamour, all glamour, lots of sparkle. I like her dark eyebrows. She looks really good. I actually like, like the, the cone, the cone shaped boob look on her is like really interesting to see because she's so known for like round everything, like round, round, round hips and like round, round boobs. And I feel like that's been her shape that she's kind of gone with for a really long time. So it's interesting to kind of see the, the more angular boobs and even like waist that she's kind of working right now with this dress yeah it's interesting to see the more angular shapes on her that I, I don't feel like i've seen her do before so it's kind of interesting not as like not as over the top as i maybe would have thought she'd do i thought maybe she'd do something more dramatic and more like crazy but but she looks great so i think she did the right amount of like not not too crazy crazy she just like looks really nice and her dress is really pretty simple hair looks good her dress is obviously really tight around the legs so she's having a lot of trouble getting up the steps <laughs> can happen it's a lot of steps she should probably just have somebody carry her up the steps it's probably the easier thing to do <laughs> one step at a time you got a lot of cameras along the way so you can do one step and you can stand there and pose a little you can do one more step and you can stand there and pose a little bit <laughs> no rush really i guess to get up those steps kim is like very much milking her red carpet time and is she the last one on the red carpet? It looks like it. She probably did that on purpose. It looks like she is the last one on the on the red carpet. And I'm sure that was her plan as well. But because her dress is so tight too, it's taking her forever to get up the steps. And I'm totally just like watching her <laughs> trying to get up these steps. But it's good. Like, like I said, like there's just, there's a ton of pictures to take along the way. So go up one or two steps. Then there's another photographer there waiting to take some more pictures. So... It works. This is great. This is like her moment. This is probably the moment that she wanted where it's just the carpet is just her. That's it. I don't, I'm not seeing anybody else on the carpet. So she was probably the last one. So that is legit Marilyn Monroe's dress. I knew it looked like Marilyn, like something Marilyn Monroe would wear. But that is legit Marilyn Monroe's dress. That's pretty cool from like 1962. That's insane. I was thinking Kim looked kind of thin. And okay, so it makes sense now that she like lost weight to try to fit into this dress. That was Marilyn Monroe's dress. That makes more sense. I was like, wow, she looks really thin. She was probably just losing weight for the Met Gala in general. But it was there was like a specific goal in mind for losing weight, I guess, which was makes sense. Pete didn't even do white tie. He has on a literally has on a black tie. <laughs> so he didn't even like follow the theme for what like the men are supposed to be wearing, which is like fine. Like I'm sure it's fine. It's whatever. That's kind of it's kind of funny, I guess, that he went black tie instead of white tie. Cool, a lot of cool looks at the Met Gala. It's really cool to see. I'm excited to go see the exhibit now. I'll probably go see the exhibit at some point. I think it opens May 7th. So this weekend, oh, this coming weekend is probably when it opens. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you like to hear my comments on the, uh, the live red carpet Met Gala. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when new videos come out. Lots more fashion stuff to, uh, to post and to talk about.
Let me know below what was your favorite look from the Met Gala. After watching this live feed, I want to go through and like look at all the pictures of everybody else that I, I probably missed a ton of people just from watching the live red carpet. Like I'm sure I did not see everybody. So I'm excited to go back through, see like legit everybody. That'll be cool. So let me know what your favorite look was down below in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.